Welcome back to Take Two. Now, it's all about living a healthier lifestyle. I know people like to wait until New Year's to start their resolutions about losing weight, but folks, skip the diet and just start eating healthy right now. Yeah, I know it's easier said than done, but that's why we have Holland Hamid, author of the cookbook, Good Food Gratitude joining us this morning. Good morning, Holland, and thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having me, Ross. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, first off, what was the reason behind writing this cookbook? So, I started eating healthier about 12 years ago. I had some symptoms and some different illnesses that I just couldn't get a hold of before I turned 30. And food really was a game changer for me. Okay. And I had so many friends that would come over. I was a chef before, so that helped helps. Um, but I had so many friends that would come over and said if they had someone like me in their kitchen, they would be able to eat healthier. And so that's where the idea of a cookbook was born, a way for me to be in everyone's kitchen, teaching them easier ways to eat healthy. The key is easier ways to do it. Now, yes. what do we have here? <laughs> so this is my cheat cookie dough. Okay. Um, it is so easy. It actually just has four ingredients. They're interchangeable and absolutely delicious. I think you're going to help me make it today. Well, we're going to prove the theory. <laughs> how easy can it be? Well, that's, so how, what do we need to do? So we're going to start. This is almond butter. I always start with organic ingredients. You can use peanut butter, cashew butter, um, how much anything you, you like. About half the jar. In okay. the recipe, it calls for half a cup. And so you just kind of want to make it like you would a cookie, a cookie dough. And our sweetener today is actually going to be maple syrup okay and i'm just gonna have you pour that in so for people that are like well i need to measure exactly you're not a big fan of that or you just kind of like you know if you feel like you need to measure that's about perfect okay. and i'm gonna have you go ahead and stir it with the spoon and we'll see where it is if you feel like you need to measure do that but as you become more comfortable um i don't think it really is necessary and this is just something that i started making when i wanted something sweet and i wanted to feel good about it um and so you can kind of see it's looking like a cookie batter consistency what's your whole overall message in terms of the cookbook and your teachings so for me, it's all about plant-based eating and just choosing healthier ingredients. I don't think that um, anyone has ever gained weight from having too many fruits and veggies. And so I just want to teach people better ways to enjoy all of it. And I think that you can have anything in a plant-based form and not lose your love of food. So people that maybe might crave some protein, there's alternatives if you go vegan. Absolutely. Like these are protein balls because we're using almond butter and then an almond flour. I'm going to have you put in just a little more. I was going to ask him, like, is it enough? It's perfect. It's about a cup in the recipe. Okay. Um, so you want to. So it's easy to figure it out. Like if we know it's about a half a cup of um, almond butter and then a cup of almond flour that you can just go ahead and put about double that amount in. And that's looking really lovely. And this is called cheat cookie dough? Cheat cookie dough. Because anytime I do a cleanse or I'm trying to eat really healthy, and those are actually stevia sweetened, so there's no sugar in those chocolate chips. I wash my hands. <laughs> Don't worry, people. All right, and so just I'll... sprinkle them on. And What if you love chocolate chips? You can just Then you just it. keep going. Yeah, go the there, yeah, you just go <laughs> ahead and put it in. And, you know, I want people to go ahead and make the recipes, but then make them to your taste buds. If you like it sweeter, go ahead and add more maple syrup. <laughs> if you don't, add less. And so those are looking really lovely. I'm this just is a sprinkle. lot of chocolate chip. This is how I like my cookies. That's right. All and right. you can always bake these, just so you know. Okay. Just got to add more almond flour. What are some of the healthy choices that we can all make, especially during this time of the year coming up on New Year's? Everybody wants to start a new diet and so forth. Absolutely. I think one of the things we can do is always add smoothies into our diet. Go ahead and add salads. I know it's hard once we're actually hungry to make good choices. Oh, look at that ball. That's beautiful. <laughs> um, but just any time you can eat and make a healthy choice, like say if you want pizza, go ahead and get a salad and a smoothie and then see if you still want that pizza. Because normally once we're full, we don't have the cravings for food. 
So what about like with people maybe fall off? Any advice um, yes. in terms of falling off the wagon? Absolutely. Be easier on yourself. Just go ahead and get back on it. You know, all of us make mistakes, myself included. There's times Oreos are vegan. And <laughs> the thing is, is you just have to go back to making healthy choices. Also, know why you're doing it, right? For me, it's all about vitality in my day. I love feeling good. I love having energy. And so just making those choices consciously, knowing that that you want to eat foods that make you feel good. So maybe instead of having Oreos, eat something like this, hit your taste buds, and then feel good about it. It's called the Cheat Cookie Dough, and it's in her book. Now, Holland, would you want to try my lovely creation here? Absolutely. And give me a, Cheers. A rating here. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Delicious. Mm. C is for cookie. And cookies for me. <laughs> All right, so if you want to start eating healthy with some easy, affordable recipes, you should go check it out. Good food gratitude, and you can get it at hollandhawaii.com. For more information, just log on to our website at k22.com. All right, coming up next, an event that brings holiday cheer to our kapuna. Dallas Santaveras rejoins us live from the Homestead Senior Care. How's it going out there?